whatever I learned, I tried to put all that practical approach into the um, into the books, just to make them aware. Okay, go through the books, just read it, see if you it, it makes a little sense to you. If see if you can improve somewhere, just by reading the books. So whatever the twenty years experience I compiled in these two books. So the first book talks all about. Um, the diet, self-awareness and food, where whatever I teach it to my clients, I try to put it here. All the information about food and the spices and the herbs, how it matters on the systems in the body and uh, how some of certain of the things they can do to improve the digestion in the body and how the food, uh, food carries the different uh, qualities and different fruits, different food, different spices, how they impact on the Vata Pitta Kapha in the body. The second book, I try to put, like whatever I teach, the techniques in my practical approach, the yoga, the meditation, the breathing techniques, the, the kind of dosha wise and what I see in a person, I customize all the therapies, I customize all the way of uh, teaching to that person because of their unique combination. So I try to do this too, just to connect with many more. Now I am doing this uh, Facebook videos of cooking. Because every time when I see a person, the basic thing I see is like a challenge of cooking. Challenge of, I don't know how to cook. I just know, go to the McDonald's and eat the food. I just know to, to go the food. I don't know how to cook the food. That's what I see very commonly in my practice. And I thought like, you know, this is my... Uh, opportunity uh, whatever I am doing for myself maybe I will just record it and uh, share it on my channel maybe it will help another person maybe it will help someone who is really looking forward to get some help from Ayurveda so the same thing after like 20 years I started having this YouTube thing like whatever I do on the Facebook I just try to put it on my YouTube just to connect with many more people to give this direction of the concept of diet and how your diet can impact you how your day-to-day -day eating habits uh, can create the harmony in you if you offer it to the body in a specific way and that's the reason I started doing all of this uh, things i know my videos are a little longer because i get that from some people oh you talk so slow oh you the videos are too lengthy you know there are no shortcuts why i don't understand uh, people feel like it should be quick three minutes video it should be a two minute video and you should show everything in two minutes I just don't understand sometimes like why we are in such a hurry uh, that if you really want to eat better and if you really want to heal yourself from inside out, if you really want to uh, uh, change um, your internal atmosphere, what your body is suffering with and uh, if you really want to do bring a positive change in your body, change the pH of the body, change the alkalinity in the body, change the, you know, uh, the, all the positive things, what, it, what is need for the immune concept in the body, then, then there are no shortcuts. There are no just mixing of the food and putting into the crock pot and putting into the instant pot and let the cook sit there and cook for you. Uh, and be ready for you for another six eight hours i i learn a lot from so many people that i do overnight cooking do you know this concept of overnight mm -hmm. cooking no yeah I, I cook a lot i mean i just don't cook as much with tom as i used to okay because he's so he's what, more fast food than i am <laughs> <laughs> so um so what i'm saying is like um mixing and putting and cooking is not a cooking that's, that's some, some kind of energy you are offering, mm -hmm. okay? But when you're cooking, that change in the food, the change and transformation in the food is going to bring that medicinal concept of the food, which is going to be a healing factor. Uh, the, the way your body needs the food uh, in the form of proper sanskaras, mm -hmm. transformations. 
then it's easy for body to accept that food and give you the best the nutritious value the the uh, the absorption assimilation separation and excretion all this supposed to happen in a proper way to offer the uh, to get the minerals and vitamins from the food right but when you are just mixing the food that is not the art of cooking okay when you are offering the specific food uh, specific putting it into specific way into the oil into the certain ways then only that infusion the medicinal values uh, the the quap, the properties the qualities are going to come into the food you understood that mm -hmm. for example i uh, um, i'm going to talk this because i know uh, you you heal many people in your practice and you practice also so um like garlic right garlic everybody talks about the garlic and uh, and in ayurvedic uh, living and in the ayurved um we used garlic from thousands of years for because of its beneficial uh, qualities because of its values its uh, qualities in the garlic how they nourish the body and this is something like it balances all the three doshas in you because it has all the text except one test which is a sweet test mm. <laughs> there are all the tests in garlic mm. so there are certain food there are certain recipes there are certain qualities um like the way we mix in ayurveda uh, that's called it as a compatible food that means comfort food to you like when you are doing in a proper way that compatible food is something which are con you are conscious when you are adding the food incompatible food is like you are just putting and mixing and you are not thinking what you are offering for example fish and yogurt marination of the food that's the toxicity in ayurveda that's a poison in ayurveda marination concept when we marinate the food mm -hmm. you know like a lot of times people do marinate steaks and chicken and all the animal products right i i just don't know a few names mm -hmm. <laughs> so the marination concept right if you need to eat the see in ayurveda they don't say that you you should not eat the meat and this and that there is a huge different concept of offering the meat to the body in a different way in the medicinal values okay uh, with a with a different bastis and animals and uh, there are different ways back home we used to have the uh, the the meat part for the medicinal values only the broth that concept is like using the broth into the animals to offer it to the body to balance the vata pitta kapha in the body depending upon the imbalances in the person but that's what we did back home here when i see this uh, concepts of uh, that um 24 hours cooking what do you know what do you call that thing uh-huh no that uh, uh. grilling kind of thing it is like a oval shape and uh, you put it for a day or two so, i don't uh -huh. know that machine so there is something like new concept very recently i have seen and few of my clients told that you just keep it inside and it will cook over a day so it takes like 24 hours to cook into that machine so all these concepts of cooking are there in today's world which is bringing us like a kind of a tamasic food or rajasic food that means kind of a food which is going to um irritate the body which is going to bring that inflammation in the body which is going to bring that acidity in the body which is going to bring that uh toxicity in the body right because look at this it's sitting for for 24 hours there in that heat with that marination with that all these whatever the things uh vinegar and oil and uh what else it goes like paprika or black pepper and salt then you marinate it then you keep it for an day or you cook it in the slow cooker for 12 hours like these are the new concept like i don't know whether we are getting really modern or whether we are going go, going uh, devalued to ourselves i just don't understand sometime but uh, i feel like when we are cooking the food that kind of food like just putting and mixing and eating that kind of food is going to bring the acidity that kind of food is going to bring the imbalance in your pitta dosha in the body that's that's something you need to think about okay are you understanding what i am saying you are getting it okay 
so that kind of quality of food here i see a lot of imbalance in the pitta dosha okay you know pitta right mm-hmm. because you learned everything you know the basic energies i hope you still remember mm-hmm. them it's been a while though um so vata is the energy of movement all the movements in the body okay you name it all the movements comes from the air element and space element in you okay which is a vata dosha pitta is the energy which is a energy of change in the body right change transformation metabolism change from kid to the adult to the old person this is all the change in the skin color change on each level cellular level also is a because of the pitta dosha in the body so that's the energy of transformation kapha is the energy of collection holding putting stuff together okay like weight gain is a example just to make you understand that it's a kapha imbalance okay like holding things together putting stuff together that kind of thing so that is a kapha in your body now think about it when we are talking about um mm, menopause was like how many years back 51 so that was like 13 years back you were menopausal um so after 13 years you are feeling spotting and you are feeling bleeding and all of that so in ayurveda it has seen in a very different way okay pitta and blood they have a relationship okay so um, they stay with each other like if pitta is good uh, the things are going to the transformations and circulation and all the things are going to happen very properly in the body pitta like when we are talking about the bleeding the pitta dosha the it has that uh, increased uh, quality liquidity right pitta is coming in the form of uh, bleeding from the lower part of the body right so that imbalance is between pitta as well as between the blood tissue in your body did you get it mm-hmm. so pitta and blood they both are imbalanced at the present moment mm-hmm. then another thing what ayurveda sees is your vata dosha because you say like it was hurting bad you had abdominal pain the pain was like there constant like a cramping kind of pain you had and uh, then uh, you felt like oh uh, uh, a kind of it it didn't go and you went to the emergency with the pain because you were worried about what is what is wrong with you right and you went to the emergency just to make sure that everything is okay in the body which is a very good thing that we do we couldn't find anything wrong in that area except the bleeding which you are still going through right so we have to think when you are saying that you have a pain in this area right in the lower abdominal area that is the house of vata okay so now think about a one basic vata which is in that located into that area is called it as a apana apana vayu which there are five sub types of the doshas one is here into this area one is here one is in the heart one is in this area and one is in the lower abdominal area where you are holding the pain okay so that is the apana which which is the vata dosha in the body which brings out all the excretions which our body doesn't need the waste of the body comes from because of the apana activities in the body so waste of the body like urine fecus uh, uh, the menstrual cycle all of this coming out of the body is happens because of the apana one of the type of vata in that area okay so now we have to think about the apana vayu which is a, one of the type of vata imbalance we have to think about the pitta imbalance we have to think about the plasma tissue as well as the blood tissue in you now uterus is the house of again vata because vata is dominated in that area so we have to think about all these imbalances in you but you had a history of acidity for how long maybe many years uh, maybe 20 plus years if i am not maybe. right because you came to see me like 10 years back or 7 8 years back before that you had a long history mm-hmm. uh, that's why you came to see me just to see where you want to change for yourself and now this is something 
uh, happening with you recently but as you said you are uh, on certain medicine which you are taking which we understand uh, so now as you said i am i am lot traveling i am lot uh, in the beach i am lot walking in the sun in the heat which you do not like because you are a pitta person you know that right your typical body type is pitta vata mm. so now with all of this uh, maybe quarantine time or pandemic time as we have only option of going to the <laughs> beach and all of that um the way you have created the imbalance in you through the food through the aha like food is like a ahar and a lifestyle is like a vihar so your both food as well as lifestyle they are not proper for you you were very good at one point the way i have seen when we did the last panchakarma the last detox on you i know that you felt like 100% better at that time after the cleansing program and you followed it by heart that time you were so good with your followings with ayurveda yoga breathing techniques what we learned during that time period but now with some of the reasons some of the years and with some of the changes in your journey of uh, life you you went through a lot of lot and lot of emotional trauma mental trauma physical trauma um that at one point you were like okay i i i just don't know you were doing the things because you have to do it but there were like uh, there was l- less connection but you have to do it because it was very important for you to take care of certain people in your life and you did that 3 years i think you were just running back and forth between um, and two extreme ends of the city you were traveling and there must be definitely i don't know how you got all of this energy to handle two people at the same time oh my gosh that's why i say you are amazing you did it you you whatever you supposed to do during that time period you did it nicely but now i see that Uh, the suppressed feelings and suppressed emotions and a lot of uh, restlessness and anger and suppressed feelings all all what we see that your nervous system and you know this very better right because the vata and the nervous system they are so strongly connected with each other so i see that imbalance very strongly in you so the vata the pitta the plasma tissue the blood tissue we are all talking about all these imbalances and that's where maybe because of the increased heat in your body increased acidity in you increased uh, um uh, the kind of food you are offering to yourself whatever you told me um i think like we need to change and i i know that you will do it because i know you are s- such a good follower of ayurveda and yoga uh and you have felt better before so i know if i tell you all of this you are going to do it and i know you will feel better for sure but i know that you you are a person who puts energy in the process of healing mm-hmm. and i have seen that before already so i know that if i tell you some of the changes you are going to do it so make sure the food is not supposed to be a lot of now uh, it is going to be a little challenge but i think you will understand it what we are talking so uh, you will not do it mm-hmm. a lot of uh, time <laughs> fermented i don't know how you are going to stop eating wendy's and all of that but uh, you need to stop it <laughs> because your energy um uh, the 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 way you have told me the spiritual energy 60% and uh, emotional energy little down so you, we need to bring these energies up okay physically because of the activities and this and that you feel better but it's not helping the other aspects of the body you are good on the physical level but emotional uh mental and spiritual all the energies i don't see that they are doing good so let's do some diet change let's bring some uh, satvikta which is a alkalinity part into the food let's bring some good routines i do not want I don't know how I will say that um don't go to the beach but I will say that if you need to walk on the beach I really want you to go very early in the morning and very late when there is almost like moonlight 
kind of that kind of feeling you know because you are a fiercey you have a pitta in your body you cannot provoke the pitta you cannot aggravate the things because you have to take care of your body type um maybe the next person is kapha person he loves it but you are a pitta person you are going to hate it so listen to your body if you do not feel good don't do it because you have to listen to your inner soul what your inner body is talking to you don't do because you have you are pacifying someone now it is hurting you mm-hmm. you were suffering with it so don't do that okay and the another thing let's talk about the diet okay so diet alkaline diet i know you will do it let's bring some grains let's bring some uh, rainbow colors in your food let's stay away from a little bit of fermented food let's stay away from some some uh, al- uh, some meat products if you can because your meat when we you're talking and when you gave me all these things what you are eating it's bringing that uh, that emotional aspect as well as that uh, um acidity you know because what is the quality of the meat just tell me first meat is always going to be acidic or alkaline acidic mm-hmm. you know it then <coughs> then even shrimp even even <coughs> any product which is related with not this into this group but which is into this group of animal qualities mm. animal this then there is a concept of lean meat right that uh, that people wants to talk heavy meat and the lean meat right so you are a little bit towards this point mm-hmm. but when you have a history of 20 plus years of acidity hyper acidity restlessness you went already through all of that mm-hmm. then you had a 3 to 5 years of uh, mental challenge physical challenge uh, taking care of two major people in life right and now you after that you have a, you went through a lot of you know kind of sadness and grieving and uh, emotional and you know all of this is a part of the journey and you went through all of this then when you are offering this wendy's and even you are offering this uh, meat products and when you are eating all the 50% outside when you are eating like cookies and crackers and bread and fermented food and tomatoes and all of this mm, shrimp and fish and chicken and french fries fast food this is something you need to turn now because if you do not now your body is reacting and you you already have started having more bleeding which is not supposed to be a part at this moment but you started having extra bleeding from the body that means there is a so much heat in you also where ayurveda comes in here because the qualities of the food how how these qualities the like likes the like right if you give something which has that qualities isn't it that going to provoke that quality in you that's why you have to stop that if you do not change your causative factor if you do not change your food then how can other things are going to help you mm-hmm. make sense mm-hmm. so now this is our turning point to change mm-hmm. the concept of diet mm-hmm. okay so vata and pitta we need to bring them in a harmony considering the body type the style of way of living life at this moment we need to change your daily routine also so diet and lifestyle let's do some change there mm-hmm. so got it so no fermented no bread no and you have 100 options i will give you 100 options mm-hmm. what to eat better mm-hmm. but not this mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so no acidic no fish chicken shrimp wendy's is something we you told me french fries fast foods so, and bell peppers tomatoes they are not really good friends with the pitta imbalances in the body okay so tomatoes and uh, bell pepper and uh, uh the spicy food the paprika and all of that can enhance uh, in the or imbalance the pitta very easily fermented food uh bakery products cookies they are all dried as well as uh, they are going to increase the pitta in the body okay so i hope this uh, this changes in the diet will help you and at that uh, in this i would like you to add a lot of pumpkin family gaur family 
you know that uh-huh. uh, god that uh, bottle oh, that god bottle snake yeah. god yeah. god's family right so pumpkin family god family cucumber family um you remember different types of cucumbers and all of that um and then um uh, asparagus uh will be something which i would like to involve into your food and then <clears throat> I do not want anything raw in you because you already have so much raw acid uh, issues already so raw remove out of your body because it's going to imbalance vata as well as pitta in your body okay so stay away from raw and smoothies and now let's talk about how you are, uh, uh, and just go through my youtube channel sometime whenever you get a time mm-hmm. just see how the contents and combinations and cleanliness in the food the lightness in the food i want you to bring something like that to yourself and you can cook the way you cook you don't have to follow my cooking mm-hmm. you just get the idea from my cooking and then mix and match your combinations what you are liking for that day mix us mm-hmm. the because the way you have raised yourself and the way we do things differently but if we have a consciousness if we have that awareness okay now it is hurting me so now okay aruna told me to add this this spice and this spice then enhance or increase that into your food mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, your best friends fennel dill cilantro p- uh, mint 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 mm-hmm. yeah um your best friend turmeric but you know uh, turmeric is also uh, going to have a hot potency so just in the quantity for the food not in the form of like people drinks the eat the turmeric or they do f- a lot of funny things with the turmeric don't do any of that okay just in the food form if mm-hmm. you need to and we also add into the specific way, way the way i have shown in the videos mm-hmm. specifically in the oil okay mm-hmm. and then uh, cooling food again so use this kind of and then grains okay grains what you like as per your taste you know you get like 6 to 7 different variations of grains you know quinoa rye amaranth um uh, millets um uh, cracked wheat cracked oats you know uh, steel cut oats all of these kind of uh, uh, and light grains so don't bring the heavy food like pinto beans and kidney beans and all of that no bring the uh, beans which are um, small in size and which are uh, splitted one okay split. so split it and that okay so that will be awesome all right mm-hmm. and then uh, we will talk about the cleansing program for you now i think like to um, it will be if you have a time i will definitely suggest you Uh, to go through some cleansing mm-hmm. the detox and rejuvenation programs let's nourish your mind let's uh, come down the excess vata in your body mm-hmm. let's come down um, the excess of pitta nervous system let's come down the body because this is like something irritating uh, mm-hmm. and uh, i wanted to go out of the body right it's uh, something like your body is in a hyper state mm-hmm. let's calm it down mm-hmm. let's let's nourish the body let's nourish our mind our sensory organs let's do some of the things what we do in ayurveda let's do the bliss therapy and all of that just to bring that harmony back maybe uh, in a few days mm-hmm. and we can do that i think you are you, you understand all the concepts so well last time also and i'm sure this time also you will do this and uh, we will follow certain things during and i will I will make some of the things and some of the thing teas for you and I will definitely give it to you to calm down and cool down. Okay, okay? you can also use some of the teas like a jaifal uh, which is a nutmeg tea and cinnamon uh, nutmeg tea is something you, you can use it uh, if you would like to. What's, okay? What's nutmeg? Oh yeah, nutmeg. Yeah, you know, yeah, right? Cinnamon, yeah. So uh, mint and nutmeg the and uh, maybe sometimes uh, coriander tea. or cumin tea you can make some kind of these teas and replace these teas with your unsweetened tea <coughs> okay so because you take unsweetened right and i don't know why uh, empty stomach you eat the egg bis- egg biscuits empty stomach you should always give something light and nourishing to the body you should not give the heavy food 
when you are uh, when you are eating the breakfast okay so make sure that you can follow something there also how about the drinks dear are you drinking that's all i drink is is just that. unsweetened tea no or, other addictions that, right wine and beer oh, and no, i know that I'm so never. okay so i'm glad to know that that because you already have this irritation i think last time we spoke a lot about this right yeah, i i've never really drink alcohol awesome awesome okay so let's do, let's do the 